What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kane here, the back in the building with another views from the chat. Hey, this time we got a raw rumble for you. In this corner, we got Dale Long, the simp guard. In the other corner, we got your boy Thomas Sotomayor. Hey, they finna go at it on this views from the chat, man. Hey, you know who it is. Kane here, the building my kingdom one brick at a time. I don't know what you doing. Y'all get at me. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We finna get right into it, man. It's views from the chat. Let's go. Tommy was popping. What's going on, bro? Not much, man. Everything's everything. You've been listening. Anything you want to get in on? I had a couple questions. Um, the night asked the question that's pretty uh I like it. But I was I, I mean you heard that question, but I may have asked it before in terms of what we need to do to, to get closer to these these women. Uh you asked it before. I know I you know me, I want to address midget that was on your panel the shrimp god i think is his name um five foot three telling women he meet online that he five foot nine and figuring that they won't pay attention when he meet him in real life i don't know how that works you know up here talking about some black woman is god when he i guess he would say that since he live in the house with his mama i mean i i'm just saying i mean when you live in the house with your mama you got three kids you would say things like that but when your biggest diss to me is to call me tammy and you just keep thinking about me man you need to go on somewhere little nigga he ain't really saying when did he say tammy he I called me that. tammy and then nigga keep calling me tammy tell me we need men like that we don't need men like me you mean like what that own a big ass house 8100 square feet you mean a man that got three cars oh. in the driveway you mean that one let me ask you a question. You, you, you mean a man that don't live with his mama? You mean a man that don't sit up here and broadcast with 12 straight hours? Somebody got three kids and they just somewhere around. We don't know where they at. You mean a nigga that get a girlfriend offline every five minutes, got a new damn girlfriend? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because he got kicked off, but his time is up. If I actually bring him up here, can y'all actually converse about the the issue in terms of that's him? Um, he the one got issues with ideology. Me. I know this little man. I, I don't know this little man, and he can't talk to me without saying Tammy a, a thousand times and having girls clap for him for saying Tammy. He says right. nothing of substance. Tammy, you did this in 2016. In 2016. JT. Just like that fool that JT, donated don't go money. nowhere. I got a feeling this ain't it's gonna be short lived, all right? Just, <laughs> just well if Daryl is involved, it's involved it is gonna be short. Huh? <laughs> Chat, please let it play through. Please, chat, let this play right. through. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. God damn it. Daryl, can you hear me? Red pill, stop laughing so much. <laughs> Daryl, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, right. hey, babe, babe, babe. I know I know we have a conversation, babe. Let me address Tommy because his he don't got no group. I'm gonna leave you on here, babe, to hold the channel down. Give me five minutes. Come on, Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Come on, tell it, tell it, tell it bye bye. He's talking about babe. <laughs> uh, Lou or some shit like that. All right, now, Daryl, you and yes, Tommy sir. have different premises about what's going to be successful. I, I see you saying black woman is God, simp God. Can you explain your premise, please? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, me, uh, me and Tommy definitely have different premises, um, which is why he had um, 13,000 women sign a petition. Well, what? Oh, well, well, wait, wait, state your premise first for me because everybody may oh, not I know. Because you live with your mom and I live by myself. Well, well, no, let's, see, mom, let's, see, let's see if we can refrain from that and then y'all can do that at the yeah, end. Well, right? no, it's okay, DJ Ham. I think that we all can bring our ladies on here and my woman can validate my leadership in real life. But to the premise, like I told this. you earlier, right? Mine's man? a lawyer. Yours a YouTube thought. They just, Mine's they, a lawyer. They, Yours they, sit on the no, YouTube. Tommy, let him say this premise. Go ahead. Go ahead, there. And then y'all like can said, talk. It like I said, Ham, for me, I'm all about I'm all about actual proof, right? So, right, and Lee. Lee know how I get down. Nidus know how I get down. And Chicago, really, he know me more than anybody else longer up here. Well, let's say we don't. Go ahead, give, give the I'm premise. I'm going to tell you now. I like, okay. again, yeah, yeah, talk to you. If you are a doctor or you claim that you have some type of fucking um um some type of fucking leadership skills that make you more qualified then show me allegedly my girlfriend is a youtube thought again my premises is actually to show you i don't just speak right what i do is i show my girlfriend's actually a sergeant in the military right now and y'all know well enough i will actually prove that you see 
what I deal with is men who complain about the system that they say that men created. The women did not create it. Sit the fuck down. Men created this system. But then they get online and say, women are uh, taking men kids away from them, right? Now, Red Pill, I ask these men, do, do you have any type of paperwork that you're actually going to fight for your kid? Red Pill, like me and Lee knows this, I have something called an ex parte motion. I had that paperwork filed with the state of Michigan, which is why I have custody of my children. I need not to complain about the system. I was retroactive as a leader. I was proactive as a leader and I took my paperwork, my court documents, oh, I live with my mother, but I still was able to stay with and keep all my children. Wow, that's not what the, that's not what the friend of court has. Interesting. And I have paperwork, not just talk on YouTube to back that up. See, my premise is the black man puts himself in every situation that he complains about. Watch this, Lee. They don't like baby mamas, but we have men that will not have sex until they marry a woman. They will have sex with that woman as some men did with women on Fresh and Fit, right? And then say she's a whore after she has no value, after you slept with her, giving her no value, right? Then when she wants to marry another black man, et cetera, et cetera, now he's Russell Wilson. Oh, and speaking about that, Russell Wilson, who has more money and more credentials than anybody who, who, who really criticized him. 10 seconds. The black, the black man is literally at fault for every single issue that he faces. Every single one. I got five minutes and I got to go back to my girlfriend. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So basic premise, we bringing this stuff on ourselves and then we devalue women and then we and then we clown those women that we devalue. Not just that, Hamp. But oh, you, the, there, you, you see what happened is you wasted some of your time on speaking about other stuff when just keep yeah. painting the premise because the premise is something we can go along with. Some of the anecdotal stuff we don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what you were saying, it doesn't seem irrational, regardless if people don't agree or not. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think that we definitely need to prioritize education and mental health. I can see my time. Yeah. Yeah, you, you was out of time anyway. <laughs> so let, let Tommy respond, and then um, you could you could respond to what he actually says. But Tommy, you could paint your premise, or you could respond to what Daryl said. Yes, he's right. We do need to prioritize uh, education and mental health. So you probably should listen to the uh, person with the master's degree in psychology. <laughs> Two and one. Uh, he said that you should look at what a man has. Apparently, well, he lives in a house with his mom. He's got three kids and he says he has a girlfriend. Just a little yeah, yeah, much. No timer, 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 timer. Yeah. Timer. Oh no, I Yeah, I, I put it up for you after after the first two minutes. I got you. Go ahead, go ahead, Tom. He, he, he lived with his mama and he got a girlfriend and three kids, and he's talking about how valuable a black woman is when he was going off on a black woman when I first met him. Going off on a black <laughs> woman named Lucky, just calling her all kinds of names because they were in a relationship. So it's strange that this all switched up within a few minutes, and she was a whore, and you made her a whore because you called her a whore, and then talked about the naked pictures that this whore got. Now I didn't sleep with the girl on Fresh and Fit, never did, so I couldn't make her a whore. As a matter of fact, the girls I slept with, you don't hear me calling them whores. Ain't that something? Now I can't be called a woman a whore just because she slept with me or didn't sleep with me. I would assume that you, the man who believed a black woman and so God, wouldn't find it that easy to call a woman a whore just because she found out that she saw you on the front of the Lucky Charms box. Or maybe because she saw you in the Leprechaun 6. Either way it goes, the thing about it is, when you talk about a man and you said a man votes for all of these things and they write the laws himself, you are correct. But also, the problem in my book is black women. See, when a black woman will get online and see a man that has three kids, lives in his mama's house, and is constantly stalking somebody else, and he can still get a girlfriend, that lets you know how low-level black women are. If she's a staff sergeant or whatever it is she is, you think it was something wrong with a woman who chews a man like that, who spends 12, 14, 16 hours a day talking to less than 100 people, trying to say that he is the man that can tell you how to be a man, when literally he made none of those women who he's got babies with. A wife now it seems like you don't value those women you call god because if i told you how great kids were and i didn't take care of mine you probably think i don't believe kids are that great that's just me though i concede my time 
<laughs> I don't even know if he was listening. I wouldn't listen to that either if I was five foot three. <clears throat> my bad. Is yeah. it my turn? Is it my yeah, turn? Well, Daryl, Daryl, address this, right? I well, I will, I will, I do have to say though. Let me let me go on the screen real quick. I, I I understand that this might have some history to it, but I also wonder why we can't have an example of having a conversation without all the bullshit attacks. Because black men. Uh, no, it, it was rhetorical. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Not, not to be rude, but it was rhetorical. I just be like, God damn, because both of y'all, I, it seemed, seemed like I know what y'all saying. Um, Daryl, now, in terms of, remember we were talking earlier, yes, and it was sir. talking about results. Yes. So what Tommy painted um, was, do your results match what you say? Um, okay. So if they don't, how do you address that? And where's okay. the accountability lie? Ham, you play X, right? Yes, sir. If you don't mind me asking, if you don't mind me asking, would it be too much for me to ask what university you pledged at? Elizabeth City State University. It's in North Carolina. New 1911. What, just give me the year, and I know. Uh, Omega Sapphire. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I thought that. I didn't even think that. I know you. I know you 1911. Now you mm-hmm. said you went to what school again? Uh, Elizabeth City. It's in North Carolina. That's why I finished I that. The Central Michigan University. A lot of men on here would say they went to school like Tommy, but Tommy would never say where he went to school. You can never pull up that information. Um, mm-hmm. While you were at college, right? While while you were there, right? Because I can pull up mines right now and show you I went to Central Michigan University. I can tell you about Road Delta Alphas. Right, I can tell you about 1906. I can say that out loud, right? While you were at school, because Tommy said he know everything about me. Can, can can a person write a paper without having actual um? What do they call those things? Um, DJ Hans, when you make a statement and you have to back it up with claims, right? And statement. Have, oh, and you have to have little links, right? Backing up everything you said, right? Oh, oh, I see. I, yeah, you talking right. about when you get your master's or your right. doc? So, that's actually so, doc. Go ahead. So we have men in these spaces that make claims about other men, but I, when I ask them a simple question, prove to my audience that you, everything you said about me was right. I can prove to you right now, just like I asked you what school you went to, ask Tommy and let's show, let's show our proof, not just talk, before, we go, before I be asked to speak on something that a bandit is saying, right? I would like to be, just, let's start there. The research that is done on me, is it by a man that's even credible himself? Again, what school did you go to, Mr. Hat? A little bit of city. Is there any documentation that will say that? Yeah. There's documentation that will say that I went to Central Michigan University. Mm-hmm. Now, I would challenge before I'm asked to speak on any validation, right? Any validation, can we validate the man next to me in his education before I'm asked to speak to a man in validation? Because this, this, this man has no validity to him at all. I would like to, as, as men, let's hold let's hold everybody accountable right here, right now. He said on your show, DJ Ham, that he had a master's in childhood psychology. I challenge Tommy Sotomayor right here, right now, to call Daryl Long the sent God a liar and show DJ Ham that you have an actual degree. Show it like DJ Ham can show his. Show it on documentation. I see. Oh. I can see my time, and I. And I there would be no proof. There would be more talk. Well, well, well. You ask. So now, here's Daryl's premise. Because I, I feel like I do got to clarify him. Uh-huh. I asked the. I asked. Mind, I can state my premise if you don't mind. My premise is before we speak to men like they actually are valid, I would like to see some credentials so I can actually know he's qualified. Okay. You see, when I spoke to the Queen Maker Princella, she had no problem showing oh, her yeah. credentials. I don't know everybody but the name drop let's just let's just keep it here if we can so yes, um so that is my challenge to tommy to show so, credentials so what happened was um for everybody that's just tuning in shout out to y'all i love y'all I appreciate y'all so tommy had brought out some facts or alleged facts right it's only fair that i say that regarding daryl's life right so i asked him to clarify alleged fact daryl said I don't feel the need to clarify these alleged facts because somebody who asked me has no credibility. So he said, before I clarify on what he asked me, I want to see where his credentials come well, from. Ham, with all due respect, I'm not saying that he has no credibility. He said on your channel that he had a psycho- he had a master's degree in childhood psychology. 
I'm saying to Arcane, to Red Pill Ranger, to Aaron, to JT, to myself, to D-Town, to Unlikely, to you in the audience, show us, right? Because there's nothing for me yeah. to grab my phone right now and go to Central Michigan University and type in Dura Long and show Aaron, show JT, show D-Town, show Unlikely, show Red Pill Ranger, show Arcane my actual credentials. That is all I ask for. I'm not saying that Tommy doesn't have it. I'm asking- All right, Daryl, all right, all right, all right, come on, come on, come on. Um, real quick, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything before Tommy jumps in if he wants to. Christopher Lee with the five dollars says, Hamp, did you get the email I sent you the other day? Maybe I'll probably, if I didn't respond, I apologize. You tried my best to respond. Deborah Leon Leonelli with the two dollars says, Four kids! Exclamation point. Christopher Lee says, The video, oh, the video of Stimp God doing zesty dances. Wow, I don't know how you see um tommy did you want to respond oh yes hold on hold on tommy this one walk the talk the fellow says tommy's message was never inciting anything it was simply pointing out out the obviously painful truth the truth never cared about how you feel um you know somebody sent me a message saying you're streaming this they said that's bad youtube etiquette so I'm not right now let me show you hold, hold, hold on no I'm, no no i'm I, we don't gotta it don't gotta go that deep i'm just saying that's what they told said so. my channel with another woman because okay. i do set nation we do ladies yeah okay cool <laughs> are you good yeah my no cause they were saying it in the chat so i you know what i mean i'd rather just say it and then we could be done with it you know yes sir yes sir but we can get back to somebody proving that i'm a liar and they have a childhood yeah the masters we, we got it go ahead tommy if you if you want to yes I, I, mean, I, feel like what happened? I feel like that's derailing what happened no go ahead yeah i love to answer this question well if he said his personal life is off the off the level then so is mine but i do tell you what you did at the beginning what you did at the beginning you talked about what people had and you said that there are certain people uh, once you have results then that's who you should listen to that's what you said so I responded to what you said, that you don't have any results of treating the black woman like God, like you say you do. I then pointed out how you called a black woman a bitch because she didn't do what you wanted to do. Then you called her a whore. Then you went around and threatened to release her pictures. Now, what you said when you started was I turned black women into whores and guys like me who turned black women into whores then talk bad about them. But see, I'm not talking bad about any black woman I slept with. You are. And you're the one who says they're God. So I didn't go into your background, didn't go into your education, didn't go into anything. I went into what you said. I stuck with the topic. And so since you were able to say you wouldn't address what you brought up, because if this was a court of law, see, you would have opened the door for that line of questioning that you got. You might think that I was being an asshole. A lot of people think that you're being an asshole when you point out the fallacy in what they say. You point out the hypocrisy in what they say. You are very hypocritical if you believe that the black woman is God until she pisses you off. Then she becomes a bitch and a whore. I would assume that she'd never be a bitch and a whore. She'd always be God since she's a black woman. I'd assume if you knocked up a few, you might have married one. But you haven't. You talk shit about your kid's mom too. She's a black woman. Or am I wrong? Now these are things that you do. That these same people who claim that they don't like me because I cuss out black women. They love to follow men who themselves don't mind cussing out a few of them when they mad at them. That seems a bit hypocritical. I don't know. Don't need a degree to point that out. And you talked about how great Malcolm was. What degree Malcolm had? Malcolm pimped white women, didn't he? Got arrested for it too, didn't he? Hmm. It's funny how we term deitized people when they done passed and we people we didn't know and people we read about. Is there the people we actually hung out with? Hmm. Daryl, question. Let me see if we can get something. All right. So I think y'all did a little bit of mud slinging, but overall, I think y'all kept it decently clean. Hey, my, Darryl, question, may I what, for the last 30 I, seconds? It won't take me I, long. Well, no, no, because I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I, because I no, can't no, learn it's not, from. It's not to him. It's to you. Like you said that you were a member of Omega Sci Fi. Yes, sir. That mean that mean that you should have what is known as a membership ID, correct? Yes. Hmm. That membership ID should validate 
that you are a member of Omega Sci Fi. Am I right or wrong? You're right. But so, what? my question was because it wasn't an answered, and we talking about personalized. My question was to prove to the men here that you are what you say you are. Now you can pull that up. You know what I can pull up for the men here that I went to Central Michigan University. That I was a member of uh, uh, of Alpha Phi. All right, Daryl, let that shit land. Let we no, heard no, no, you. No, 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 man. I think that. Hold on, hold on. I think that I, I don't want everybody to misconstrue my point. We have older gentlemen here, so let me let say this. How can we, as men, a council of men, have anybody here that's preaching to other people what they should be doing when you don't not want to speak about who you are? So, uh, Daryl, let's get. Just let me say this, because Daryl. The reason point, why I don't. But, my but, last point this, but this is not this is not super informative for well, us. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, uh, point, hey guys, could y'all hold on one second? Hold Can y'all hold on, on one guys. second? I, I have mom, hey, mom, are you? On the, um, I, I was muted. I didn't interrupt anybody. I was muted. I didn't interrupt anybody. Could you oh, go yeah, but, and? Right, hold on. You have um, my wait, 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 there, I, 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 wait, wait. I was off mute. You go. No, it's fine. Just do me a favor. Tommy is literally interrupting. Trying to get his engagement. Wait, wait. He trying to. He just called his mom. Can you go and um read read what they say on the, on my degrees for me? No, I would like to see. It. I don't want to speak. Wait, 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 wait. That's wait. not valid. Hold on, Daryl. <laughs> anybody can call anybody, bro. Show the documents. That's not valid. Please, can you mute the little nigga? Please? No, that's not valid. I, I shouldn't be muted because that's not valid. Show documentation. Ham, your mother don't have to read your membership ID. You have that yourself. Why are we going? You can actually show you know that what? physical What's documentation. The point no, is, please, I'm man, have please, to man, back. please give me the honor of landing my point as a man, please. No, you this, the thing. So this Aaron, is the thing. Aaron, this is the thing. Like a, All right, Aaron, man. please. Aaron, I swear to God, Ham, I'm not trolling you here. Aaron, you look like an honorable man. No other, no other no, just, man. The just Jewish man. I just wondering what it is that you wondering what it says on you. The Jewish man. I've got which I'm on there. Can you tell me what I'm on? Don't interrupt me because I'm making too much sense. He just hey, said, I, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, 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 y'all niggas. Now, now I'm not being respected when no, I'm No, just I'm chill mean. out, chill out, chill out, man. Chill out. I know. He just, said, he just said, he, because you make yeah, the man. same point. Yes, man. I understand. Daryl, 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 you gotta chill. Daryl, 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 you gotta chill. You gotta chill this is typical yeah. black man. So here's the thing, Daryl. He just said, yo, did me a picture of him. He just said, send me a picture of him. That's what he just said. So we'll wait. That's it. And in some oh my God, dog! Right. So while he's doing that, while, while he getting that, can you mute him and I can make my point and contextualize it to the audience? Can that happen, or do we got to listen to the phone call too? Y'all niggas be wilding up here. I'm Look, trying to figure out who y'all think y'all like. This is a weird. Man, I'm not trying to bully nobody. I swear to God, I respect you. My whole point know, is this: but y'all gotta chill though. The people who govern our state, right? You go to the governors, you go to the state of the union, you go to city council. You go into those group of people, every single person is qualified, man. You go to the Board of Education, every single place that govern our children, every, you go to anywhere. These people are qualified and they are governing our cities. These are the reason why um, trans people can walk in the same rooms with your fucking daughters because these people are going to the state, the Senate, and they are qualified while we here as black men call ourselves having the council that's holding me or anybody else accountable and this person amongst us cannot prove who he is. That is always and will be a problem in black community. Meanwhile, these other races of men control oil and everything else. Why? Because the people amongst their councils have people who are really holding us accountable. That's why I started with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Fuck it. Have a fucking have a fucking uh, uh, thing where y'all worship black men and don't tell the truth, but then complain about the system that y'all don't control. Also, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. I really wanted you to paint that out. That was more valuable. Um, black you know men don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear y'all bad so women. What you're so saying is not is not terrible. You know what I'm saying? I just wish no, you. No, what I'm saying is true, that. bro, and you know that because Omega Sci Fi is the only fucking fraternity that actually speak about mental health. Men Omega Sci Fi literally has a fucking mental health program. Hemp, am I lying? No, you're not. I just but wish you to live with that shit. Now I gotta kick you off. I know. So you don't believe in mental health, huh? No, I don't believe in depression. Yeah, well, it's all. 
no, 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 no. Now, 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 say, say sorry. I did not say that. I said, you're right. I'm sorry, but I see you in mental health and I believe in depression. Thank you, my brother. As long as I appreciate that. I have a question. How can you believe in mental health and not believe in depression? No, he said that Omega Sci Fi has a whole arm, has a whole arm for mental health. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. But you say you believe in mental health, right? Wait, he just asked me, Omega Sci Fi has has a mental elf arm and i say yes we do so you still don't believe in it i don't believe in depression i haven't thought through every single thing i think motherfuckers bipolar yeah i have it. yeah yeah so got it out of my house and it said her house but everybody yeah. knows this but everybody's seen but my mom keeps all my stuff i wouldn't have it it's not something that, that well, I had it until my house flooded and she came and got it out of my house and it said her house but everybody yeah. knows this. But everybody's seen both my degrees. My so mom has mine do. too. To be fair, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Don't they? Don't they take your shit seriously? Because they, nah, you gonna lose. They, at least for some reason, black mom's gonna take your shit. I don't know what that is, but they're just gonna take it. Um, but it's just a weird thing for me to listen to this man keep on saying things. But he's not talking about what he's he's done. He didn't say he graduated from anywhere. He said he went to a college. He went to one. He didn't answer any of those questions of if the black woman is God, why are you a burden on your mom? If the black woman is God, why do we know several black women you call bitches and hoes? A few of them being the women you have children with. Why would you listen to anybody tell you how great black women are when they got three kids and bragging about having a girlfriend they met off YouTube living in their mama's house? These aren't disses. These are facts. So if you call in anybody else, low level men, lame men, they can't get women they don't respect women seems like you don't respect women if you've been in a relationship with two of them in less than a year online how do you keep meeting your girlfriends online why do you call them a bitch when they don't do what you want them to do they're black y'all just gonna skip that that the person tells you they're god until they get pissed at them yeah I think actions, actions speak. And I think that was the premise in which we were just, you guys were arguing that, the, yes. that all of us, that all of us can take away from. I just wish that some of the points were made because I would have loved to hear you give a opposing point to all the stuff he just said at the end, along with his premise of why the black woman is God. But instead, yeah, tell me, I didn't, I didn't hear. I was too busy. I had to, you know, my mom wouldn't be quiet and she was trying to tell me why you are with these niggas. They gonna get you killed. That's what she was saying. My mom is a pastor, and she was saying, "Don't argue with these black men because all they want to do." She said, "If you prove them wrong, are they gonna like you afterwards?" Hmm. Have any one of these niggas that don't like me ever gave me credit? Nope. Uh, I wouldn't think so. Um. Yeah. So no. So he didn't. He didn't get to paint it out because he started talking about it at the end, and that would have been a better conversation in terms of just the substantive of it because we all can understand that but if i if you're not in this youtube space like i had no idea what y'all talking about <laughs> so it just kind of was just you just kind of sit here you know what i mean let me read these uh yeah, i'll answer questions. his questions i don't mind whatever you told me the premise yeah. i'll answer it. no yeah um well, so he, get one of these people do it to me instead of the tammy shit as they start out or name calling but he, go straight to what the difference is supposed to be he got timed out for two hours. So if, unless somebody pay one hundred and thirty five, one hundred and thirty dollars, hundred and yeah, then I don't you don't remember kind of what he was saying. I can answer. It. Yeah, let me let me read the super chat. I think I can I can um bring some of it.